Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to see the priority scheduling. It is a type of CPU scheduling algorithm. <coughs> In this, the process with the highest priority is executed first. And if the two process have same priority, then it is uh, executed on the basis of first come first serve manner. So priority scheduling क्या होती है कि जिस process की priority ज़्यादा वो पहले execute होगा और अगर दो processes की priority same है तो वो first come first serve basis पे execute होंगे Now priority scheduling can be of two types One is preemptive and another is non preemptive Now again in the preemptive if there is a process that is running and another process comes with the highest priority then the process with lowest priority will be preempted. <coughs> but in the case of priority scheduling, there is a problem which is known as starvation. Now, what happens is that after one or two, the ready queue in the processes are coming. And if there is such a thing that one process, suppose that process is P4, and its priority is so low that every time the ready queue in the process is coming, its priority is more than that. तो होगा क्या कि प्रोसेस P4 को तो CPU मिलेगा ही नहीं। That means प्रोसेस P4 will starve to death and that is known as the problem of starvation. So the starvation problem is that in which a low priority process can be blocked infinitely if high priority processes arrive in the ready queue frequently. And that problem can be solved with the help of aging. Now, aging is a technique that gradually increases the priority of a process. So, aging ka matlab hai, it increases priority of a process. Now, we will solve one numerical on the basis of this uh, priority based scheduling. These are the processes, execution time and priority. Normally, हम priority किसकी high मानते हैं जिसका priority में number कम होता है. That means P2 will have the highest priority. And we are assuming all the processes are arriving at zero milliseconds. So the question that I am going to solve is based on non-preemptive. So now let's draw the Gantt chart. Chart, sorry. So this is the Gantt chart. अब इसमें सबसे ज्यादा प्रायोरिटी किसकी है द हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी इज फॉर P2 सो फर्स्ट वी विल एलोकेट P2 P2 कितने देर तक चलेगा 3 सो अप टिल 3 P2 विल रन देन आफ्टर P2 सबसे ज्यादा प्रायोरिटी किसकी है 2 4 और 3 में से P1 की so now P1 will run. अब P1 कब तक चलेगा? 24 तक. क्योंकि तीन पे मिला था और उसको total execution time 21. That is 21 plus 3, 24. Then the priority of P4 is higher than P3. So P4 will run up to 26 and then P4 and sorry P3 and it will run up to 32. So the waiting time of P2 is Waiting time of P2 is 0 pi is 0 pi will get the 0 waiting time. Waiting time of P1 is 0 pi is 3 pi will get that is 3. Waiting time of P4 0 pi is 24 pi will get 24. And waiting time of P3 is 26. So the average waiting time is 0 plus 3 plus 24 plus 26 divided by 4 which is equals to 13.25 milliseconds. So this is the priority based scheduling. This is actually the uh, question that I have solved is of non preemptive priority based scheduling. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials on operating system and other computer science related subjects. Thank you.